Hi, my name is Kate Snowden and I'm the Associate Director of Admissions at the University of Minnesota Law School. Thanks so much for joining us today. I am here today to talk to you quickly about our scholarships, financial aid and residency reciprocity and how that works at Minnesota Law. If you have any questions about any of these topics afterwards, please feel free to reach out to the admissions office and we can talk to you more in depth about any of them. So first, our scholarships are awarded at the time of admission and they are merit based. So you will hear about any scholarship offers when you receive uh, admissions decision from Minnesota law. Our scholarships range from $5,000 a year up to full tuition and not all of our students are offered a scholarship. So if you are, if you are offered a scholarship, you re will receive that information in your admissions packet. We do not have any GPA minimums that we require our students to keep in order to maintain their scholarships for the three years that they are at Minnesota Law. Um, all we ask is that you are a full-time student taking at least 12 credits or more in the law program each of the six semesters uh, that you would be at Minnesota Law and then you would receive your scholarship. Scholarships are not available during the summer semester and we do have a scholarship policy online that you can view all of our scholarship um, policies. Financial aid. We, the University of Minnesota offers uh, federal loans. You must complete the FAFSA and you can do that online. We do have a financial aid uh, counselor and support and all of that is done through our one-stop office. And we actually have a one-stop um, counselor that comes over to the law school once a week to work with our law students directly and um, answer any questions that you may have. We also have a really good website. The university has a really good website, one-stop website. It has a lot of financial planning resources and things available there that you should definitely check out. I would also highly recommend our accesslex.org, um, the MAX program. On that website, you will find not only pre-law information, but also um, information for current law students. They also have one-on-one -on -one financial advising and a lot of online resources. All of that information is free to prospective students and to current law students. So definitely worth checking out. So residency and reciprocity at the University of Minnesota. We have two different tuition rates at Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota law, you are either a resident or a non-resident. So applicants from Minnesota would be considered a resident or applicants from Wisconsin, South Dakota, or Manitoba who qualify um, would receive reciprocity and receive the resident tuition rate. So you have to fill out some things um, with your state or through Manitoba um, to, in order to um, qualify for that reciprocity and receive that resident tuition. So to qualify to be a Minnesota resident and to get that Minnesota resident tuition, applicants must have continuously lived in Minnesota for at least one full calendar year prior to the first day of classes. And during that year, the applicant could not have attended any other Minnesota post-secondary institution. It's a lot of information, I know. So we do have um, all of the kind of ins and outs of residency reciprocity on a website and it's listed here right online for you. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to contact the admissions office or we do have a, a residency office that you can contact and they can answer any questions as well. So residency status is verified before enrollment. That's it today. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact the admissions office and we look forward to seeing your application soon. Have a great day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.